Hello everybody, welcome to the uh, NAF kickoff tournament um, event thing, 64 people. We've got Fonzo with Lizardmen versus Nuru with humans. This is the quarterfinals and in the booth with me is the greatest of all time, Kofu. Hello. Good evening, little wrestlers. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> Amazing. So maybe that maybe you may you know, yeah, I know I know you're a humble chap and that may be too strong, but you know, at the end of the day I think it's you know, like there's not much in it is there between all good players. You know, everyone's mostly the same, but uh you know there's not many people who've won it in Blood Bowl two and tabletop and, you know, fumble and that is there. It's quite quite this quite the C V. Yeah. <laughs> That's, yeah, winning a meter in all of them is pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> if only we'd won the team's blitz pit here, that, that was all my oh, fault as well. Oh, that was yeah. all my fault. Oh, that, yeah, that last game still. <laughs> the one round you couldn't carry me and PC for. Oh, <laughs> oh man. But that even my game should have been a win. It was freaking annoying. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it is what it is, isn't it? Yes, that is very much true. <laughs> it is what it is. So we've got a completely standard Lizardman team here in it, five block. Um, and that's all the skills. No, no chameleon skink, two rerolls, and a reserve rather than an apo. Uh, Nuru has nearly gone for the uh, nearly exactly the same as Andre's team. He's got the two guards, the mighty blow, the tackle, guard, ogre, but he's gone for a wrestle catcher instead of a block catcher. That's interesting, isn't it? I guess he's thinking he's not the ball carrier, but the ball sacker if stuff goes wrong. Hmm. It's not what I'd do, I tell you. <laughs> it's also when you have a tackle as well, it seems a bit. If you do that, I think I'd take a guard more. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, then I think it's alright if you go all guard and want something to take blotches. Yeah. What do you think of the... Uh, yeah, it was just a stun. Yeah, I looked around. It was this this, this catcher got stunned from the kickoff. Yeah. Um, so that's official ref shitty thing. Yeah. What do you think of the Mighty Blow Blitzer call? I'd rather had guard. <laughs> yeah, me too. That's. It seems funny to me because you know I think it, I feel like if you've got the tackler, then the tackler can make those tackly hits. Yeah. Um, but sometimes you know if you've got three dice, you'd rather Mighty Blow anyway, wouldn't you? Like if it's a gutter or something, you know, like. Yeah. I, I, somebody yeah. worked out for me that, that, that you are more likely to make a Kaz three dice with Mighty Blow than you are three dice with Tackle versus like a Dodger or a Blodger even maybe instant removal but, that just one guard <laughs> <laughs> yeah four guards five guards and a wrestle <laughs> and then you're laughing <laughs> yeah. I, I can yeah, see the point of the good. Tackle yeah, I don't know why they have it. I just the thing is again, it's just the amount of games and pr stuff where it's literally doing nothing. Yeah, yeah. And that's the good thing about the dark elves, isn't it? It's just it's just dodge, 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 block, wrestle. <laughs> just good things that do good skills. Yeah, that do good I'll, I'll, the lizards where it's just giving them block and everything is fine. Yeah. Um, humans has options, but I think humans do sometimes struggle in matchups like this, where more guard is just better. Yeah. Um, but like in this game, I don't know how much. If the lizards has a good game, that tackle is not going to do anything. Yeah. Because those kings are not getting exposed. Yep, and it's just really easy just to drop a Saurus on him, isn't there? Like right now, he can just he can just instantly drop a Saurus on that guy, blitz the yeah, line on, and drop a Saurus on him. Yeah, it must have been the official ref and the kick off. 
At least it wasn't a one for a send off because that's just so brutal. Yeah. I'm not sure. I, yeah, that's whatever. I, I would probably just. I prefer leaving the Ogre to make himself turn into an idiot at the wrong time. Yeah, yeah, I quite like it. But I guess, I guess he's thinking it's one of like the ways that the humans can, uh, yeah, even try to deal with the Saurus, isn't it? So it, it is. It just, yeah, yeah. I think I would have done that, but he's got the he reserves. Probably, is, is he going to foul it now he's as well? He's definitely fouling it, yeah, yeah. 100%. Okay. <laughs> I guess that's a thing. Whoa! He's, oh, no, he's KO'd him. I thought he cast when it says waiting for the choice of injury. I thought he cast him. No, but he KO'd him. So there you go. Brilliant foul. Brilliant foul. If it works, it works. Yeah. Hello, oh yeah, yeah, there you go. What a, what a, what a fight. I mean, that's amazing, isn't it? Because like that, you know, it's a strength five guarder. That's that is pretty much almost all the humans can do to fight the Saurus. Remove. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, I'm with you, Adiv. I prefer taking the safe option of pinning the human to the sideline and just letting the ogre be stupid and then take the ogre later. Wow. Oh, <laughs> well, I was there. That was a good reroll. Yep. <laughs> Massive Kaz there. And there was serious injury. Yeah, glorious That's Mighty Blow. Look, Mighty Blow made the Kaz there. Glorious. <laughs> I quite like Mighty Blow on my dwarves just because, you know, they've got a Mighty Blow tackler. Like, you get getting the skill stack is pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. But, yeah, I know what you mean. And it works sometimes. Guys. It's just... Yeah. It is hard to go against guard, you're right. <laughs> guard is really, really good. <laughs> no <laughs> idea. I, I wouldn't take it on humans. I wouldn't take it on humans because you've got the mighty, you've got the ogre if you want to like, you know, three dice somebody with mighty blow. You know, if you just want an attrition blitz, you've got and the, the ogre Italians. And the Italians like two of them on almost everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> different people, different ideas. Yeah. Who's to say if it's right or wrong? <laughs> blah, blah, blah. <laughs> the classic. This is the usual seven turns of pretending to play Blood Bowl from Lizards. Yep. <laughs> One of the best things Dimmy said. <laughs> it really is, isn't it? It really is just seven turns of pretending to play Blood Bowl and then scoring. Like, they've only got to get a few, what, three squares into the opposing half. Like, it's so ridiculously easy for them. They're so fast, they can switch sides ridiculously easily. And there's really not much you can do about it at all. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. You, that's the thing. You've got that with the ogre, haven't you? So that's why I think it's not really worth it on the humans. Humans, I would have definitely just gone five guards. <laughs> well, I say that, I would have gone four guards on... Uh, dwarves, if I could read, if I could redo it, I hate it taking block on the run. Actually, I thought block on the run was a good idea, and now I wish I hadn't. Mm. Well, he's he's exposing a skink to a mighty blow hit. Of course, it's better to remove Saurus, <laughs> which is already one has gone. I think I have had the runner hit. I think he got one dice powered. But... <laughs> um, I think, you know, like, the games are tight, right? The games are tight in NAF style versus good players. And it can come down to your ball carry having block. But I guess, you know, 32 turns of guard is hard to argue with, isn't it? I, shouldn't have done. I like the safety of the block carrier, but... I think now I shouldn't have. Well, he's not bothering with the skinks. 
I think I would have liked a, a like a wider cage or like a deeper cage with all four skinks inside, right? If you just got these would both come back one and then put four skinks in and you can just have all four skinks caged, I think would have been hilarious. Yeah. Rowdy, but he gets a 2D him, doesn't he? Gets a 2D, the Crocs. So he's not really basing him. I mean, he's not basing him. Unless he quad skulls, I guess, yeah. Didn't quad skull. Doesn't follow either. Interesting. As Kalon would say, super interesting. Ooh, how spicy is that? <laughs> Gonna make a blockless block this turn though, hasn't he, later? Would he go? Would he go quite far? He could go quite far. I like, think just do what they want, can't they? Just go backwards and forwards. Yeah, and that's the thing again because they don't actually need really to move anywhere, and they're still <laughs> a threat to score. Yeah. Penetration. Bit of, uh, bit of Spanish for you there. I thought that was pretty good actually. <laughs> Even if I say so myself. <laughs> if you have to ask anybody, you'll say that was all right. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, follow. Follow into the mighty blow. Not what I would have done, but who can say? If it's good or bad. <laughs> it's the meme that's never going to die, isn't it? It's brilliant. It really is, yeah. That was, that was the official, like that was like the official guidelines from Rebel. Was don't ever say anything anybody did was bad or wrong. Just say it's not what I would have done. Things like it's not what I would have done. <laughs> but who can say if it's good or bad? <laughs> Sometimes it's really easy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yep. Oh, well, he got to hit that and nothing happened. Which happens a remarkable amount of the time, really, doesn't it? Same with... Uh, same with... Gutter Runners. It's so annoying smashing Gutter Runners to bits and doing nothing to them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I do, uh, I do enjoy... Um, the Hypnogaze taking away all skills that makes uh, hunting uh, Gutter Runners a lot more fun. Mm. <laughs> What's that? Just, just scold into scold. Didn't have the assists. Just <laughs> think about it if you had two more guards. Yes. <laughs> yep. Ooh, a blockless block. Gets away with it. Yeah, just kill the skinks. Yeah, it's really like you really have to kill the gutters, though, right? Like that's the that's the annoying thing about gutters. You really have to kill the gutters. You will not beat Skaven unless you kill the gutters, and it's not that easy. <laughs> and uh, yep. Oh wow! It's really going forward here. Turn five. Why is there so much space? It's crazy, isn't it? Only two players out for the humans, but... Just acres of space. Over at the side. Base of it. The Crocs will smash this guard, won't he? Four smashed. Now 
don't know what the humans can do, like get their tackler back. Maybe hit the crocs and then run some other people back, but it's... They're not getting there. Well, lizards are horrible, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, it's... It's such a good... Good team, and especially if the first gets on top of you. I guess you could stand up for the uh, catcher here to um, occupy Saurus. Oh, he's put in, he's blocked the three plus out anyway, so. <laughs> like, it, it, his option was the three plus out or just stand there and do nothing, wasn't it? And I, I thought I didn't hate the stand there do nothing because then you can always dodge up next turn, can't you, to try and mm. do something, but this is. It's pretty rough for the humans. Yeah, it, it's about now where I will probably think about. If I can hurt one of the big dudes more instead of actually going for the cage. Because mm. that will make the one turn more possible, it will make the long drive more possible. Yeah, and he, ha I mean, he has removed one as well, right? He's, he's cast yeah, exactly. One so and instead of then taking, taking the big fight and concentrate about those two that are standing alone. Mm. Doing the Skaven thing. Yeah. Ignoring the ball. If you cannot sack the ball, just ignore the ball <laughs> and find weak targets instead. Yeah. To make. Underworld, for that matter, is a bit the same. Yeah, I mean, Underworld is very the same, right? Because their one turn is amazing as well. So, And they've got they've got snotlings that can foul, so like. <laughs> Humans, are one turn is not. But instead, we have overtime being a factor here instead. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, protecting the skill players and see if he can take one more out. Because he cannot take the full group of big guys into the fight because he needs to protect the skinks and the ball. Mm. Could of course go for the six plus one D on the skink. <laughs> it could, and because it's by the sideline, it's at least better. Yeah. Um, which probably would me being a focus for the lizards getting a bit more space, so you don't have to stand like that. Skink more. I'm not sure why we send in the skink that way. No, I, I thought maybe he's, he could have gone back a bit, right? He doesn't have to be this far forward, does he? So, and so now we can two the all the bi two big dudes and then uh, three dice the skink if we really want to. Yeah. At least two dice that would block tackle. Or three dice with mind blow if you're saying that's better. Oh. Oh, we can take the fight. That's just the problem with humans. You cannot fight too many of them at the same time. Yeah. Is my bloat being a thing again? He can bang bang these two Saurus down, can't he? Maybe. Oh no, he's moved him. Ooh. Oh, no, he's uh, he's all in on attacking that group of skinks. And dudes, the problem is the lizard can just move back again. Mm. A little bit. He can bang one of them. He can come through as well. Can he? He could, uh, blitz yeah, he could come through. Oh, blitz to tackle if you. 
a bit more of incentive, but if you blitz the tackle and get him down, you could probably get, make sure you're pretty safe up in that corner. Yeah. Yeah, pretty safe, whatever, isn't it, really? You could mm. block the tackler with a skink <laughs> and then blitz somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it should be pretty safe. Whatever, whatever he does. Maybe he is going to uh, blitz the guard. Maybe. Mm. Yeah, and then just march into the middle. Or stand there, I guess. Yeah, I quite like I quite like getting back central. Yeah, the general. middle the middle is good, you can move both ways. And you've still got a little winger boss going on. If you can do a dodgy dodge. At least you can force with angle. Mm -hmm. This is quite nice. Ooh, I think you should have followed, right? When he makes yeah, so, so if you follow, then you stop that corner as well. And then if you uh, dodge the skink around to the front, you could kind of spring off the whole half of the pitch. Yeah. Giving all the space to run out. Okay, that's yeah. yeah. I like to like you. I like to follow up because that lineman is not getting anywhere anyway. Yeah. Because now the guard could go that way around and be at least a bit annoying. Yeah. Ah, he's just gone in, but yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, yeah. If he follows here, he can't go through. There you go. You can see the tackle zones. So if he'd followed <laughs> there, that would have uh, that would have closed it off. But as it is, yeah, this guy can come around. The guard could have come around. And you know, maybe it doesn't make any difference, but I would have just instinctively yeah. done that just to like cut it off no matter what happens, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like I think it's just generally good to make shapes like that where you're making a screen. Yeah. Rather than not making a screen. <laughs> yeah, especially because that now Now the block dude, you need. Why are we not? Now he's still got a Cyrus that's completely free to do stuff. Yeah. But can it yeah, free the ball? Um, you can at least get tackle yeah, away. You can, yeah, you can at least move the tackle, yeah. Might even. Uh, it's probably not worth it. No, he can he can hit as well, right? If he if he pals this guarder and then he blitzes and pushes him, then uh Oh no, it's only no no it doesn't work. Disregard. Disregard <laughs> Retreat! <laughs> Retreat <laughs> Yeah, so you just blitz the you've gotta block him to get rid of the guard, haven't you? And then blitz the tackler and then dodge. Ooh, he doesn't get rid of the guard. Mm, spicy. So then you just dodge because you've got a reroll. Oh, yeah, you just dodge because you've got a team reroll anyway, and it's the first yeah. half. So you've got to dodge anyway, so it literally doesn't matter hitting the tackle. Just, just dodge. It's tied to share. Um... The problem is by making these blocks first. Oh, no, you've got. It's no, He's only got one reroll. No, no, he's got two. He's got two. I looked up there, but no, he's got two rerolls, so yeah. It's not like Blood Bowl 2, where if you made a dub skull, it would cost you reroll for the turn, would it? So you can still make these blocks, it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah he's still got two rerolls, he's still one ahead. And now we're just hitting uh, Mr. Mighty Blue instead. 
Next and level. makes the cherry plus. Mm. I took one there. That seemed a bit loose, but he got away with it. Yeah. So killed skink and a Kaz I mean the Kaz blocker is a great result for the humans, but uh getting scored on, on turn eight isn't <laughs> No Ooh. And I'm about to get really annoyed because that's more than doable with Garden and Moomin Eight. Yeah. Yeah, this is terrible. That's, like yeah. I don't know how many times we that's still bad. Yeah. As long as you put them together, you can hit all... Oh, stop it, people! <laughs> literally means you can hit all three for pushers. Yeah, it's so bad. It's literally so bad. Okay, at least come forward then to make the rest awkward. Yeah. If you... No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's he doing? <laughs> I don't mind against a 3 3 backline, I must admit. Just because the, you don't really want to take extra hits, I don't mind it too much. Yeah, but you can't have a tight LOS, you just can't. Yep. That's, that's really, 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 really bad. Yeah. I mean, of course. He might, me might still not score it because he's only edge three in that. But still, it's just, it's just way easier than it needs to be, isn't it? That's mm -hmm, the point. Yeah. Yeah, re it is really bad. But already he's not setting up correctly for it, is he? Um. Why is it? it depends a bit what he wants. I like against the tide. I like to blitz, put run people up around the back, so you blitz this corner and then push into the middle and push into the guy that goes forward. But yeah, yeah it, and then go forward longer out. But that's not particularly good. If you're right. Oh, solid defense, but he can't move the LOS anymore, can he? Oh, no. Yeah, it was, let, let, let us see him and make it worse for himself in a second. <laughs> that will be a uh, classic. <laughs> well, I mean, you can put a player here and a player here, and that's going to help a bit, isn't it? Hey, Naren. Make it a bit tricky now. Loon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you trying to say noob in Naren? Oh, casting with a loon. Oh, it was casting. <laughs> casting with a lion or a loon. Hello, oh, Naren. <laughs> Out to correct when it's best. <laughs> yeah, yeah I mean, this isn't simple now, is it? No, it's really, it's always annoying when. But I think he can run if you put enough guards. You can 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 you not get around and just hit from the middle, in the back? Is it alignment? It's a bit of dodging, but you're probably worth trying, right? Mm. Just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and hit from the backside instead. <laughs> Straight in the middle. I didn't, say, the card. <laughs> I didn't say. Let me clarify. I didn't say all naff are loons, but there were some. There were some loons. I didn't say all naff people were loons. <laughs> like blood let's be honest. Discord, right? <laughs> like, let's be honest. Everywhere in the world, there's plenty loons. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> that's just. That's just a. That's just a na take of nature. Yeah. Um. Probably if it's me, I'll try to pass to get the ball and pass it first because if that fails, it just fails. You it's don't risk anything. Yeah, yeah. Oh, gun, it's a really deep one. Yeah. Yeah, that's 
if the catcher's here, right, then that's better against this as well, right? Because if the catcher was one to the right, then you could, like, punch... Uh, uh, punch the edge uh, edge guy. So he tried to one dice. It would have been fine. But now you can't. Yeah, I, I think the... Yeah. What the... I think he's giving it up and he's just going to smash the crocs with Mighty Blow. I think you could... The lineman couldn't have gone through. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, anyone that enjoys Blood Bowls or Loon, that's, that's a very good point, yep. <laughs> yep. Everyone. Absolute Loon. He will. He can, he can re-roll, it's t turn first half. Re-roll that, if you're going to fucking blitz. If you're going to give up your one-turn attempt to blitz the uh, croc, then... You re better just re-roll anything and everything. Yeah, what are you saving? He just didn't use it. He just went He just went in the half with an unused re-roll. <laughs> didn't even re-roll the bonehead. Didn't even re-roll the bonehead. He's just like, nah, that's good. I'm good. So the skink stays out, so the lizards are on 10. And uh, the humans are all are on 11, yeah, because he stays out, but it doesn't matter because they're on 12, so... Super exciting. This is the NAF, uh, the NAF kickoff in our arena. This is one of the quarterfinals. And, uh, no, this is... Yep. That was, that was definitely still options that was better than that. Yes. And and if anything, just take the line of scrimmage and potentially foul one of them instead of going loony. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was not the best one-turn attempt. But who can say if it's got up that? <laughs> hmm. Surely this is just rule of five, right? Rather than whatever this is. It looked like it's just taking his one to insert over, isn't it? And he didn't have to change that. Yeah. This is fucking weird. I don't know, like, what's, what is this defense? I do not know. <laughs> I have no clue. <laughs> <laughs> does, does he think... Does he think the hum Oh, okay, he's paused the game. Does does he think it's gonna be another one turn attempt? I'm I'm absolutely bamboozled. <laughs> okay, he's paused it. Who knows why? Who knows why or for how long? Hmm. I, I don't understand that, like, that defense, though. It's really weird, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the question is, do you, uh, do you mighty blow the Saurus on the end and get a massive gang foul in? Or do you tackle one of the skinks, or do you not bother with either of that and just ignore how he's set up like a lunatic and <laughs> smash the LOS and hope for the best? Probably tackle a skink, right? Tackle a skink doesn't commit you into like a move, whereas mobbing that Saurus would kind of commit you, maybe he's a bit too heavily. But it's really big payoff, isn't it? Getting a big gang foul on the sword. Like, you can you can get a huge gang foul on that sword. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I would be tempted, really. Again, if you played a long game, it's getting all the skings are a nightmare anyway. But if you get one more of the big dudes, then the lizards are suddenly may struggle. I do quite like it, and he's like he's already fouled the Saurus, hasn't he? Like he if he, he has the Saurus with a foul, I think. I think that was a foul. No, it was mighty blow, wasn't it? You oh, were, was mighty blow. You were, you were so proud about the mighty blow. Yeah, doing your thing. Yeah, and I've already forgotten. Oh, 
It, maybe it's the key, maybe he did the KO with the foul. I, I can't oh, remember. Oh, no, we're going done. back. Oh shit! Quick snap. He's got to be very careful here that he doesn't just randomly uh, lose a turn. <laughs> Nobody really knows why or how. <laughs> <laughs> but he might just lose his turn here. Looks like he's good. If you, <laughs> yeah, he managed to beat the game. <laughs> yeah. It's funny. That's literally the most terrifying thing. Oh my god. Okay, no, it was, it was the mighty blow. It's the most terrifying thing in Blood Bowl Three. It's getting the quick snap because it just might, it just might lose you the game. <laughs> did, you for, did you just for a second think he started with the Oka block? Yeah, I did, yeah. I don't know why. It just looked like it to me. And I was like, what the hell? I agree. It did to me as well. <laughs> Good. <laughs> so it looks... Oh, yeah, he's going for the tackle. Here, yeah. Like, it's 75% knockdown, isn't it? It's all right, I think. I think it's all right. Yeah, it's not bad. It's just if you're willing to risk players and fouling... They, Going for that lonely dude does seem like a really nice option. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe like leave the tackle over that side, then a few more over the other side, so that you know you can be non-committal, so that if like the ball's in a tricky spot or whatever, you can just take the easy spit, the easy blitz on the skink. But then, if the ball goes over that side and you want to make the commitment, you can. Mm. Yeah. For the pick up. This is a throw at the ball. The problem with the three dice on the blitz would just be like the, the player commitment. Uh, but I think it was probably worth it in terms of like that then this Saurus would be marked out, right? He could have he could have put this lineman could have been there marking the Saurus. And then another one and then he could have three diced it. But yeah, just the uh, just the positional cost is the only reason not to. Oh wow, only a stone. But yeah, three dice is better than two, <laughs> and it's not hard to three dice his kink, is it? Like when he's just exposed like that. So yeah, maybe it was worth, maybe it was worth going for the three, especially with a saurus down. Like that was that would be really good to, to mark that saurus. I think. You know, it's really good is a bit a bit of an exaggeration, but <laughs> it adds a bit of value to the three D, doesn't it? Mm. You're not just putting two people over the other side for no reason. Oh, he fouled the ogre out, didn't he? That was that was what happened. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I knew they'd be a foul. He took, <laughs> he took, he took out the yeah, he took on the ogre early and fouled it out. Yeah. I knew they'd been a foul. <laughs> I don't understand why the croc is on the <laughs> on one side. Hopefully, it's in the middle after this turn. Yeah. I mean, maybe the idea is like, you know, kind of like a refused flank type of thing and just, nope, okay. Oh, no, it's no. coming, it's, no, not really, no, come on, <laughs> these two squares more to the side. Yeah. It's it's like almost there, I think it's kind of, it's kind of daring the humans in to maybe sco end up scoring early, I think. Yeah, I that's hope. what I thought, yeah, like a, like a refused flank, isn't it, do you know what I mean? And like encouraging yeah. them to go the other way and then. But no, no, hey, that's good. better. Yeah. That's better. <laughs> good job, big dude. I'm not sure why it's taking a whole turn to do this little, but it might be due to how hard it is to play. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. To be fair. Yeah. I don't know how much those two guys play. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? There was uh, there was a like about a level six noob who was playing in this, wasn't there? <laughs> I would say at least uh, one that was level precisely one before the first game. <laughs> that might be level six now after three games. Yep. 
No, nobody mentioned, nobody forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> it is great, it is great that there's no losing in this tournament. <laughs> mm, that's uh, that's quite aggressive. Yeah. That pushing angle. I probably have pushed it out so you could have pushed it away if needed. Yeah. But he's going all in on that that he must have a gang foul in mind. Yeah. Surely. Yeah, it's, it's a GFI though, to reach. Could this is, uh, otherwise you just Rip push dodge. him one in front and then you could have put, put assist there instead. It's, it's either a GFI or a dodge, isn't it? Obviously a GFI, okay, so it's not the GFI, so maybe it's a dodge. And now he's putting it out. I'm Ooh. really confused now. Oh my god! But he gets it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Stop rewarding bad play. <laughs> Look okay, at if, dog. if you're pushing him out there, why did you not just? Oh my god! That could have been so awkward with both downs. Yeah. Oh. Got away with it though. Got away with it, and now now you got it's... a can of rewards. Now now you might think about scoring early. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> no, because at least it's, anyway, you got the um, you got both got. It's a full half right now. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I didn't know that either. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know how they implemented it. I know what the rule book says. I know what just. I was uh, when I played the first one. I was just gambling. That uh, Blood Bowl 2 has actually done that one right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I remember when, you know, when I played Blood Bowl 1 a little bit and I was in like the, you know, the forums and that and people were like saying, well, how does this work? And I'm like, well, there's two answers. <laughs> there's one, there's one is the actual rules. When I, the other question is what sign I have done. And it's not necessarily the, <laughs> the, the correct one, is it? And, and that's the same with all these things now as well, you know. And to be fair, the the erratas and stuff as well. Like some of some of them, like cyanide were right, and then yeah. they've been errated to the wrong now, which is a bit unfortunate. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I guess, and then they have to try to patch it at some point, mm -hmm. which uh, apparently is also uh, quite the thing. <laughs> yep. Oh. Foul. Now maybe a foul. The lineman is free there. The foul like gets a lot of value now with two Soros cast already, doesn't it? Yeah. How much bench does the human have? Two? Yeah, just one. He's got one in the apple. Okay, it's one apple. Cable. Oh yeah, this is where one one, not one one five. Yeah. It's turn, I mean, it's turn 11, maybe he's going to start thinking about scoring a little bit. Are we, are we just ignoring that, Soros? Okay. <laughs> yeah. But he's, he's got to think about getting forward a bit, hasn't he, to be fair? Like, this yeah, is, and I this guess that was maybe what he realised. Yeah. Maybe he should have taken the space he was given. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Ooh. Oh fuck, all the way back. What the F are we doing? <laughs> no, I think we're hoping for something lucky the next time. I mean, he's still got like, it's only turn three, right? He's still got five turns after this. But it was more, if we're then going back, why did we not just blitz the all hours yeah. and... Yeah, yeah 100%. <laughs> 100 if, if we're not staying up there, then... Yeah. No, 100%, yeah, just blitz that sort of so. And, you know, maybe make a gang foul on, on the Crocs as well. Wouldn't I hate that? Like, again, if you're not going forward, then make use of the fact that you're not going forward and get a massive gang foul in. But yeah, it's particularly the blitz is... Uh, maybe he's hoping for, like, a power and a stun, right? Like, if if, this, if that Saurus is stunned, it's way better than the one behind being stunned. Yeah, that's that's nothing like gambling on rolling ten plus. <laughs> <laughs> that's just what I like. <laughs> I mean, 
It's the only thing that makes sense to me. <laughs> yeah. Some people think like that as well, don't they? Like, you know, you, you see Rick streaming and he's like, I'll just power this guy and I'll just go and hand off here and I'll just go and make this dodge. And it's like, how, how can you think any of, any of this will work? <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm terrified of any role I have to make. <laughs> Yeah, it's the same to get angry when they don't. So it's, it's, it's the same people that get angry if they don't get a push power pow, and mm. will go absolutely mental if you make a five plus pass, <laughs> which is with a reroll. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's a good point actually, isn't it? <laughs> Literally, exactly. Did you the make same a words. five plus pass? <laughs> Besides, of course, if you reroll the two dice, the two deep, so you have four chances. But otherwise. But yeah, straight up, that's so many, like, like, as long as you don't knock yourself down, it's kind of a good result. Yeah, yeah. Like, you're more likely, if you need a, push, a, a yellow thing, you are mo more likely not to get it, like, almost. Yeah. Oh, pressure on now. Yeah, two, two big boys right in the face. Yeah, it was a bit. It ended up being weirdly loose that cage. Yeah, it, it was. That was a bad turn, wasn't it? He did a nothing blitz, left the Saurus, and now the Saurus. I guess the Saurus can't really do anything, right? Because of the guard. I think the only good thing I can see is that he at least managed to get the Crocs isolated alone with one pl player. You can forget about whatever yeah. throw, uh, whatever it is. You can just ignore. Yeah. But you, you might actually have to block. You, I would not. <laughs> but I say, if you if you want to play it a bit frisky, then if then there is a option to uh, smash everyone to the side. Got one that. Yeah, okay. Potato calling. Yeah, maybe he's got to. Uh... Unfortunately, this is a catcher, isn't it? So he can't, he can't take uh, it. I don't that. mind it. I don't mind the one D though, with wrestle. Yeah. Because even the push is probably then it's into the ogre, but anything else than push, and you can find mm -hmm. some options. No, not doing that. It's just gonna instantly power him. Oh my god. <laughs> What is this? Not terrible. <laughs> but it's still not... F okay. I guess he's going to like hand off to a catcher or, or make the dodge. That's the only... the only things that make sense now, isn't it? Oh, can he, can he chain? Can he hit with him? Not really. I just hit with the ball and restyle. What is? What? What? What is this? <laughs> it's good enough, is what it is. When people have only got three saurus. <laughs> yeah, it might it might just be he got one turn more though. Yeah. Um. Oh, yeah, I'd deep like... how? Yeah, but he needs to take that. Like it with the wrestle hit there. Oh yeah, yeah, hundred percent. I mean, it kind of needed to be a power as well. <laughs> yeah, I think a follow up though, and then it's probably all right, even if it's not a power. Yeah. No, no, mm, mm, maybe yeah. Um, both down is awkward. <laughs> then do both down it. <laughs> wrestling down in front of the ball carrier. Yeah. I would say anything else than both down the skull is probably a ride. Oh. the ball. Yeah. But it's pretty... Oh. Yeah, I still think you should have followed up with that cast here. Yeah. I still don't know... Cause that's just one dice. Oh, two. Oh, even better, yeah. 
It's the pound. And your cows, and you can follow up for the assist, and you don't need to. Oh no, you can block from that square. Yep, yep. Gets the pow. Yeah, the problem is this almost all scatters are fine for the humans. Ooh. What was that? Killed. And he doesn't. I used the, I used the apple in a heartbeat on that. Yeah. Oh, he doesn't have one? No, he does have one, yeah. Well, well, I got asked. Yeah, how the hell do you not apple that? <laughs> Are you saying Maybe. it in case he gets KO'd again in overtime? Like, what the hell? <laughs> you, you one nil down? No, no, he might not make it to overtime. Yeah, of course. That's, oh, man. That's... He needs to try to... He needs... Yeah, do that, and then the skinks need to just go for it. Oh, my God. What a turn this has been. What a turn this has been for the... Uh... But it was this completely is... unnecessary if the catcher follows up. Yeah. Then that's that's not happening. Yeah, you have to follow. You have to pick it up. You have to. Oh. <laughs> that sh that shouldn't be enough. Cause not. Let's see. So you got two dice and one on the first arrows. And then you've got pretty easily two downers on the next one if you don't even need that. You free up everyone on the two dice. Just take the ta tackle two dice, mighty blow the skink. Somebody picks up the ball and scatters off. Yeah. Dilly dally off and you fuck. Okay, so we're greedy, we want to take the other hit as well. The uh, ogre first. Um, he's kind of standing on the ball. That's a bit complicated, right? Mm, it is. It is. But I feel like if this isn't going to work, <laughs> uh, you, you probably ain't win. <laughs> and run. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you can run down to the side. It will be fine. Just need to make sure the Crocs is not coming. Yeah. Yeah, so like, as I'm saying, like maybe activate the Olga first. I can just leave. Do, do, do. We kind of want the one guy. Yeah. The fi mm. I don't know about putting so, him up there. Um, you need to put somebody there so you can block. That dude yeah, to right, free up the catcher. Down, right? I'd have put him down. Yeah, that was my first. And but then you've I got guess this. Down. Yeah, I guess this what works, we... doesn't it? Yeah, but we still. Uh, we still. I still. If it's me, I'm putting that catcher on the crux. Are we just casually stunning one more? Yeah. <laughs> so now I'm put the catcher on the crux to go? No? No? Now we leave. I'll put it on the crocs go and then I'm and then do the dodge. Yeah. Yeah, like here, right? And then it's Yeah, and then it because the it's screening the, and he's got a three D it and then Oof, we just couldn't about couldn't he just couldn't reach for that Saurus. I guess the good thing is he's because he can do stuff. Again, I'm probably gone for the hit with the cro crocs are gone, the marking of the ball carrier with the skink and not touched in the front. Yeah, it's really weird to like not get tail on the ball, isn't it? People love to get tail on the ball. And in this case, it makes all the sense in the world if you can screen in front of the ball as well. Yeah. What are we? What we know about this? Well, this is kind of okay, right? You can screen that Saurus, so he's got a Saurus to uh, to respond. Okay, no. Ah, okay, so you're going for the one dice. 2D, it's catcher, isn't it? Oh, it's catcher, yeah. He uses Bloody a reroll, and now he's down to one. 
Yeah, you should also have done the dot, 3 plus dodge with reroll instead of a. Uh, yes. You know, auto format instead of that. Yeah, yeah, I like that a lot more, yeah. But at least that's not bad. Hmm. I keep forgetting the cat. You even skill rings on, it's still not working for me, but it's better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I I hate the human catches, so that's why I've got that on for this. <laughs> yeah, the skink blitz. Yeah, it was pretty easy at the two D, wasn't it? But that's why. Yeah, that's after why the garden. See, I'd have had the crop. I would have had the ogre back there, so that you could have had. The catch it up there, right? So you'd have had it would have been mm. much harder to get up that round that way. I yeah, think. he was gambling on the three plus from the guard to do it. Mm. <laughs> I don't think I should make that a sound effect. I think it was a bit mean, wasn't it? A bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. If he gets the score, it's the starting to be interesting. Oh yeah! Holy shit! Two Kazdorus. Yeah, and he Three can uh, he can actually, oh, and can even chain. He can uh, got mighty blow to blitz uh, the Crocs now. Oh yeah. And, and he can blitz block it block it away if. So he doesn't even need to block it into. Yeah. Yep, looking very, very bad for the uh, wizards. Wait. Okay, he's just blitzing without block and without mighty blow, but it means he gets the other guy forward instead. Yeah. Well, that's the thing, isn't it? There are there are pros and cons, right? And he thought that was better. Only to turn fourteen. Not in a rush, is he? He's not in a rush. Is Nuru? Call him no rush, no room. <laughs> Oh, we've got to eat that, I think. Yeah, he does eat it. Because he's only winning if he wins in overtime anyway, isn't he? So. I mean, not just one... I mean, he's 1-0 down. I think it's, overtime is the best he can hope for, and the only way he can win is winning in overtime, so it makes sense to... Uh, yeah, he's definitely a place now where... Thing is, if the lizards win the toss, like if the like if Nuru scores, then the lizards have got two chances to get the KOs back. So there's still a good chance they can have ten in the set in the overtime. Then they can just quick if they win the toss, they can quick score. And lizard, and lizard can one turn. Yeah, maybe. And in in reality, okay, <laughs> in paper they can one turn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think if you were the coach, then maybe they could be one turning, but I don't think they'll be that much of a threat of the one turn in this game. But he's done an impressive amount of damage to those uh, lizards. Yeah, it's, it's oh, <laughs> what was that? I don't know. I don't know. I was, I was gonna. Crocs was the ball. He's uh, going to and sack the ball. Right? Yeah, and Crocs was stupid. I guess I missed yeah. that. Okay, so now we turn fifteen. Before we do anything, we make sure the ball can score. Yes. Or at least one more. Two people in scoring range. No, no, no. <laughs> wow, and out of range for the Crocs to go, preferable. Well, we're gonna we're gonna blitz first. T 
2-1 grind noobs. That's the best way to play. And I am here to break it to you. Oh, <laughs> PC, indeed, the toxic elite. You don't get any. You don't get a bigger toxic show than than PTK. It's not all of us that's been banned for, t for show boating. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not be. Let's not be mean. Well, no, it's please. not. It's just. And let's also be honest. We all been there. It's so much easier not playing. Yep. And it's it's but, also a lot easier, like you know, not having to grapple with the client, isn't it? You know. <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm truly enjoying this more. <laughs> oh, double skulls! He rolls it. He's only got two to overtime. Wow. But leaving ourselves having to do two go for it seems. Um, no, no, he's alright, he's alright, he's alright. He's a catcher. Oh, no, sorry. Ah, uh, fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> this is never getting old. And it's also, it doesn't help it saying 10 on the side of the pit. Yeah. When Fumble 10 is actually away from the end, so not. It's so random, isn't it? These these numbers, like two there and four there, and then up to twenty-two. It's so fucking weird. Yeah, it's like a weirdly turkey's one. I don't. The catchers should be yellow. Yes. Not blitzers. Blitzers should be red. Yeah. Not big guys. <laughs> yeah, big guys don't need their own color. It's all stupid. <laughs> but it's like literally if. That is a standard. Mm. Yeah, if only they'd like told the VIPs that oh they'd Oh my this. god, and he's also let them that. Yeah, that's that's really bad of having that, isn't it? Holy shit. I mean glorious Croxby, blitz and good spot, but Yeah. It was really bad allowing it. Uses his last reroll. Gets the wrestle! Gets the wrestle! Punish for not going? taking block. Gotta try the pick up here, haven't you? Is the skinks can put like one in front of the catcher. Can he can just stand in front of the catcher, I guess, base the catcher, and he runs in behind. He can reach here. Yeah, I think put him there, and then he goes two dodges and a two. Oh shit, okay, so he just did the G. But he did the G if I instead of a dodge, and obviously the dodge is just actually strictly better, isn't it? Hmm. Oh my god, he's just rolled all of the dice. He's just rolled all of the dice. Flip me. Oh, it was he already did the dodge, okay, so he did the dodge. Yeah, ah, so uh, yeah. It. And he did dodge, dodge, pick up, dodge. Didn't even use dodge. I like didn't pop dodge. It's looking really good, really good for the lizards, isn't it? Despite getting three players removed on their defense, they have managed to get the ball off of the humans. The humans are going to hit it with tackle and have two rerolls left. He can't push it here in case the catcher who's already activated catches it, so he has to just push it straight forward, hasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> he does push it there, oh my god, if it goes to him and he catches it. Because he's like six with a reroll, right? He's 30% if it goes to him. Yeah. Oh, look at oh. <laughs> My god. I did that. <laughs> But if now he's getting uh, rewarded again, because if that's gone out of the sides, that could have been everywhere. Yeah. Oh my god, you can't but, just block here. You've got to just go for the 3 2 to just win. <gasps> oh. He I... failed. It was a 2, then a 1. Whoa. Wah, wah, wah. Wow. <laughs> wow. 
it's really it's really like uh bad the animations and that isn't it that you, you just couldn't tell the reroll was used at all there but there you go it was and it failed and that is Funzo the lizard men through to the semi-final uh, to be fair he don't mind that it, he, he found some play place down players to, to make it yeah no I mean you you can't say he didn't deserve it he's got three Saurus out for Christ's sake <laughs> and he kept getting a keep stopping humans anyway yeah there you go and uh yeah there you go congratulations to fonzo oh well saying about familiarity with a client fonzo's level 92 and nuru's level 100 so they should be uh pretty familiar with the client but there you go congratulations yeah fonzo. <laughs> commiserations nuru um, I, I hope they know what they were doing then um <laughs> You should think so, right? <laughs> you would hope so, yeah. You would hope so. And uh, thank you very much, Cor. Been great having you on doing this. Always a pleasure, mate. Always a pleasure. Oh, yeah. And thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic. <laughs>